The opening words of Psalm 122, Kapitel Kuf Chav Beis, read as follows. Shir HaMalis LeDavid, Samachti Boemrim Li Beis Hashem Nelech. A song of a sense of David. I rejoiced when they said to me, let us go to the house of the Lord. What is King David referring to? Who told this to King David? The temple was not built by David. It was only built a generation later by his son Solomon. So what were the people referring to? And why did this cause King David to rejoice? The great sage Rabbi Yeshua ben Levi explains this verse in the Talmud Makos, page 10a. David said before Almighty God, Master of the universe, I have heard people that are saying, When will this old man die so that his son Solomon will come and build the chosen temple and we will ascend for the pilgrimage festival? And I rejoiced. The Holy One blessed me, he replied to David. A verse that David himself used in Psalm 84, verse 11. For a day in your courts is better than a thousand. Meaning, the one day in which you engage in Torah study is more pleasing to me than the thousand burnt offerings that Solomon your son is destined to offer before me upon the altar. So let's take a minute to unpack this. God had informed King David much earlier that he would not be the one to build the temple, but that it would have to wait another generation for his son Solomon to build it. We can imagine how David felt about this. He must have been devastated and heartbroken. So knowing this, what type of Jew would make such an insulting comment to King David that he can't wait for his death so his son can build the temple? Who would taunt David where he was most vulnerable? Certainly it wasn't the righteous Jews. Certainly it wasn't the pious, God-fearing Jews. The only ones I can imagine lobbying such stinging taunts are the lowest of the low, the scorners of the generation. And still in all, King David reacts, Samachti, I rejoiced. Not only did I not ignore them, not only did I not block them out, not only did I not get insulted, not only did I not get angry at these ingrateful, insecure, and thankless people, but I rejoiced for what is on their mind. Even this type of Jew has the temple on his mind. He demands to ascend to the built temple to serve you there. Psalm 122 verse 1 serves as a very important reminder to always have a positive attitude. And the way we choose to view life will determine how we interpret the words of others. While one may intend for it to be damaging and still others will see it for what it was intended, I, with my positive outlook, have the ability to alter that reality. Where others may choose to see insult, we can choose to see flattery. Where others choose to see it as mocking and therefore sad, I can choose to see it as genuine and a cause for rejoicing. It's a matter of how I choose to live and how I choose to view life. This week is Yud Aleph Nisan, which marks the Rebbe's 121st birthday. Hasidim and Jews around the world have a custom to recite Psalm 122, the Rebbe's new capital on a daily basis. In our generation, the Rebbe personified this idea to the utmost possible. Books have been written on the Rebbe's approach to thinking and speaking positively. Just like King David, the Rebbe is an example how to view all Jews regardless of background or level of observance. For deep down, every single Jew wants to ascend to the house of the Lord and to serve God there. A little over 30 years ago, New York philanthropist George Rohr started a beginner's minion on the Upper East Side of Manhattan. The initial services were a great success. So when he met the Rebbe shortly after, he shared the good news that he had started this service for Jews with no background and how it was a success. But rather than congratulate him, the Rebbe challenged Mr. Rohr as to why he called them Jews with no background. They are all children of Avram, Mitzchak, and Yaakov. They sure do have a Jewish background. This was the Rebbe. To him, everybody was precious, everyone was holy. Let us take a lesson from these great Jewish leaders and create a positive life for ourselves by always seeing the positive side in others, by always speaking about others 
in a positive manner. If we do this, we will surely merit to be from those who ascend to the house of the Lord with the rebuilt third temple speedily in our days. Amen. I wish you a good Shabbos.